Hello everyone, welcome back to the Genomics Bootcamp to another video about the most important R commands for genomic analysis or just in general if you want to use R. In this video we will talk about two R commands both related to the packages. Now when you install R you get the so-called base package. It already contains a lot of stuff but R can do just so much more. And this is because the many, many contributed packages that you first need to install and then load, and then you can use them for various kinds of analysis. The installation of packages is very easy. You just need to specify the install.packages command and then put the name of the package you want to install between double quotation marks. If you do such an installation for the very first time, you might get a pop-up window that asks you to select a mirror. This is just the site or the R server where the data is downloaded from. Technically, it doesn't matter which one you click, but it makes the most sense that you click the place or the server, which is geographically the closest to your current location. And then you can proceed to run the line. So also the easiest is to be on the line. So click on the line and press run, and then the installation proceeds. Depending on the number and size of the R packages and your internet speed, it can take a various amount of time, but R packages are generally very small, a few hundred kilobytes or a few megabytes. Also, in some cases, more packages are downloaded if the package that which you are installing has some other packages that, that it depends upon, but these dependent packages are not yet installed on your computer. So R recognizes this and installs everything that you need. Now I installed this package Palmer Penguins for a specific reason where, because we will be using the data from it and the data set, which is called a Penguins. When I try to run this, it will come back with an error message that there is no object Penguins in the work environment. That is because installing packages is not, not enough, but you need to also load them. And you load them with the library command and then specifying the name of the package. If we load the packages now and rerun the very same line, now it executes and now we see that it recognizes the data set that we will be working with. Of course, you need to load all the packages that you are planning to be using so that you don't need to return to this part all the time. Thank you for your time now and check out also the other videos about the most important R commands.